I'm going to use this as my demo. This is a client that sells some high-end robotics, and they generate quotes. And so when they use the regular print button, they, this is the standard quote that NetSuite produces. And this is, again, the advanced PDF template. And really, this is about as much as it can produce because this is all the data that's available. What they wanted and what our tool now produces is a brochure that looks like this. That's pulling in information, images from items. It's pulling in other data that is not directly on the quote record. It even pulls in other PDFs. For example, their terms and conditions are a complete separate PDF, joins them all together and creates one final document. As we do this, we're able to reach it's maybe a little bold to say, but I'm pretty sure that it's true that we can reach any data that is in NetSuite with this tool. We take as a starting point the advanced PDF template that NetSuite provides, HTML and free marker syntax, that file, and we use that as our starting point. And we create what we call a CRE, a content rendering engine profile. So I want to show you now the profile. This is the record that, that controls all of this. And we tell the record, hey, you're going to start with a transaction. You're going to start with a quote. That's your starting point from where you'll know how to reach all the other data. That's generally how these works, because from there, then you're going out and connecting. This is then our modified template record. And if you look at this, what you would see is that 95% of this is exactly the same as NetSuite's standard advanced PDF template. But we've just added some additional information to it. And so to, to display that information, we have down here a series of either SQL queries or saved search definition. Each of these is executed and the additional data made available to the whole engine and therefore to the free marker translator. What you'll notice also is that each of these queries can have free marker syntax in it so that each query is first translated by the data that is already available before it is executed. And so these become self-modifying. As an example, when this runs, it will first execute this query. And, or I, I'm sorry, this is a saved search. And if you're familiar with NetSuite saved search syntax, this is kind of how it looks. But what you'll notice here is that I'm telling it pull in items, but only when the internal ID is any of, and then I have a list, a, a loop, using free marker syntax that gets me the internal IDs of the items in on this query. And so when this saved search executes, it only pulls information about certain items. And then I have another query and it takes the results of this, loops through them and pulls in additional information that the saved search could not get because there are limitations in that sweet saved search technology. And so this query is executed. And all of that data then is loaded and made available. Now, as you're developing or as we're developing this, we have a nice test tool. So when you define one of these, you can say, okay, let, let me try it out. So let's say we want to test this with this quote. In our test tool, we tell it, hey, this is the quote I want to use. This is the template that we're using. You can modify it here for testing purposes only. And say, okay, let's run what we have right now. Okay, so it has processed everything. If we look at the execution log, for example, we will see here every saved search and query that it executed, but we will see it after it went through the translation step. So I mentioned in here, right, there's some looping logic and everything. For example, when it gets the customer, it retrieves the record entity ID before it calls this query. So when we look in here, we see it did that, and here's how it replaced that field. Similarly, when it executed this query, this is the actual query that ran, and this is what it got after it went through the free marker translation. So after it went through this translation, what it ended up with is this query, and that returned two rows. And this query here returned one row, and so on and so on. So this just shows you what it did so you can validate that everything is getting is what you expect. This just shows you the final output. and here, this is actually, you'll notice this is not the lengthy one because there's a switch that controls whether they want a short quote or a long quote. And I ran it with a short quote as an example. But here, one of the really powerful things in the syntax tab, you see all the fields and all the data that is available to our engine now as a result of loading the quote and running these queries. So you see every field in the syntax for getting it. But then below that, you see all the queries and saved searches that were executed 
and what results they brought in, how many rows they retrieved, and what all the fields are. And so you have a really nice, clear understanding of all the data that is available to you that you can then use to, to loop through, to display, to, to, to put onto the template. So really, in some ways, we're using the standard advanced PDF technology, but we're using this powerful syntax here to bring to bear any additional data that we want to make available. And then the template simply references the data. So when it wants the customer, it just uses, you know, dollar sign, left quote, customer dot, whatever, when it needs, and so on and so on. That's as simple as this is, in a sense, except by joining these queries together, you can reach just about anything. Of course, I don't know if you're familiar with the fact that NetSuite recently introduced this query language, the ability to get a data via queries. And using this, of course, you have essentially unlimited join capabilities and, and you know very powerful things that saved searchers could never do. So we let you use either one of these to retrieve the information. And so from there, you can join from the invoice to the customer deposit, to the customer, to the items, to whatever you want. Pick up any information. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense.